Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the eggplant and cut aluminum foil and put the eggplant inside of the foil. We're just going to cut a little indent into it. And I like to slice the garlic in half. So I slice one piece of garlic in half and I push it it into the eggplant. It's a little hard, but I push it into the eggplant. So now I'm going to repeat that, like turn the eggplant onto the side and push the other piece in. See, it broke a little bit, but it's okay. You can just push it in. This is also going to help the garlic roast. So I use three cloves of garlic and I just push it in there. Actually, I think two cloves is good enough. Now I'm going to cut a little, another little piece and I'm going to put a small piece of pepper in there and the same thing. I'm just Open it and just force the pepper inside of there. It's gonna smush. Okay, so then I'm just gonna add the eggplant and the aluminum foil. There's another piece of foil. I'll just take another piece of foil and cover. Make sure the whole thing. I put both of the eggplants on the stove and I just put it on medium heat. And then, like, probably every two to three minutes, I would just turn the eggplant using a thong because it gets really hot. So you just it every two to three minutes getting really hot in there I don't know if you can tell so we're just going to clean it it's going to be this one and now let that cook so now that it's getting steam over here you know it's time to rotate it Okay, so I just turned this and you can see when it's kind of ready when the foil starts coming off. So I'm going to turn this one. I'm going to cut up this onion. So I roughly chopped the onion and now I'm just going to put it in this shine bowl. So now the eggplant is finished cooking so I'm just going to turn off the stove and take one at a time. I'm going to pick it up. Put it on the cutting board and I'm going to take out the foil and take out the foil then using a knife I'm just going to gently cut inside and this is what it looks like. So the outside of the skin is kind of like burnt, so you basically just want to take the inside and the easiest way to do it, it's really hot, is you take a spoon and you just stick it out and I'm going to put it in the shine bowl.
Okay, so now that everything is in the bowl, we're just going to smush it together and mix it up. See, like the garlic, you want to bang on the side and smush it up. Another piece of garlic, bang on the side. It smushes very easily because it's cooked. So now we're going to take some butter. I use like one, two tablespoons of butter, some salt to taste. Some black pepper. And oh my god! You're making so much noise! And then you just mix it up. After you incorporate all the ingredients together, you just mix it up. And that's it, you have bacon chocolate. You can eat it with roti, you can eat it with rice, you can eat it just as is. I personally like eating it just as is. This is a good vegetarian meal. It's quick, it's easy. It takes you probably about 15 20 minutes to make. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.